Okay, hi guys, I'm Bree, I'm the marketing manager at Prolific. Um, for those of you who don't know us, we are a platform that allows researchers to quickly recruit high quality participants for your online experiments. Um, Prolific is probably like one of the simplest things to use um, out of all the tools that are introduced here today. Um, the way it works is, well, you first sign up as a researcher, and uh, you can log into your account and quickly set up a study uh, just to include a couple of uh, information, uh, give a title to your study, give some description so that participants understand what they're expected to do, to do uh, in your experiment. Um, next, you, as long as your experiment has a link, it can be integrated to Prolific very easily. Um, and the most exciting part is where you can use our free pre-screening tool to uh, narrow down your audience. We have uh, over a hundred free demographic uh, pre-screeners, so you can really find niche samples if you want to. Um, and next, you give us uh, the sample. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you give us the sample size you want. Um, tell us how long your experiment will take to finish, um, and set your hourly reward rate. And then you can just uh, press publish. Um, and the study will be made available to people who uh, fit your demographic criteria. Um, and you can actually, once it's published, you can see in real time uh, your study places being taken up. Um, next, what you want to do is to go into your experimental software and check uh, all of the responses uh, given by your participants. And you have the option to approve or reject uh, each participant's response. So you only end up really paying for data that you can use. Um, so what makes Prolific quite different from, say, MTurk is that we uh, empirically have better data quality um, and we offer pre-screening tools so uh, you don't have to actually pay extra money to screen out participants that you don't want. Um, and as mentioned before, you only really end up paying for uh, data that you can use under you know, the most perfect circumstances, of course. Um, so Prolific was started five and a half years ago by uh, Katia and Phelan, who were at the time doing their own PhDs, and uh, Katia just didn't have a proper tool for her own social psychology research, and they built a tool for their own use. Um, and the platform just kind of grew by itself organically, and today we have 4,000 uh, paying researchers and uh, more than 40,000 uh, monthly active participants. Um, the, the actual number, uh, I think, from the past year, uh, is 100,000 participants who have been active in taking part in studies. Uh, and we have uh, just short of half a million responses being submitted each month. Um, so growing quickly and hopefully will even be better going forward. Um, and uh, most of the researchers that are using Prolific are running sort of front of the mill social experimental psychology research. But just anecdotally, I know that uh, there are researchers who are you know, collecting large data sets to train their machine learning algorithms and so on and so forth. So hopefully, this will be of use to some of you in this room. Um, so I was asked to briefly talk about data quality at Prolific as well, um, which ties back to my claim that we're empirically better uh, than MTurk. Um, so at Prolific, we have this framework called the NEED framework, which is an acronym uh, that stands for naive, engaged, uh, attentive, and trustworthy, which we uh, internally think are four characteristics that make up for uh, good quality participants. And to manage for each of these uh, traits, so for, for naive uh, to basically find you know, participants who have a high naivety, so they have not been exposed to similar experimental setups before, we use adaptive rate limiting so that professional survey takers don't end up taking all the surveys that uh, were the experiments that are published on Prolific. Uh, and for engaged, um, we run uh, periodic audit surveys um, internally to all of our participants um, and uh, use free text responses to sort of analyze which participants are just you know, not like actually giving you proper responses and are bought off with it or so on and so forth. Uh, whereas for attentive, we use, um, mostly use metadata uh, from researcher feedback. So uh, because you can, as a researcher, reject participants based on a couple of objective measures, such as if participants have failed multiple attention checks, we have that metadata and we can flag participants quickly using our machine learning algorithm and uh, ban them. So um, that's how we do it. And trustworthy is probably the lower hanging fruit where we just don't allow participants to sign up using the same IP addresses. We have internal systems to detect bots um, and things like that. So this is, this is how we make uh, participant quality better than uh, some of the other competitors out there. Um, right, so that, that's a bit about prolific. 
Um, for this workshop, we're offering um, $50 worth of free credits uh, to those of you who have not tried out Prolific before. Um, so the condition is that you should not have signed up as a researcher on Prolific and that you should just come and talk to me uh, and I'll get you set up. Um, and if you don't get a chance to speak to me today, my email is here, brie at prolific.co. Feel free to email me if you have any questions or if you want to get $50 of free credits um, and I can just set up a call with you and chat. All right. Thank you. Some of these people, so, so, uh, Bree, you're not going to be doing a tutorial or anything? No. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll be here for the whole day, so yeah. if you have questions. Okay, well, if you have questions, uh, direct them to, to Bree. Okay. I'm, I'm curious how many people you have, well, we've come <laughs> 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 right. um, uh, So, Diana? Yeah. 